Hello everyone, it's DA here. Hope you guys are doing great. Hope you are doing amazing. Now, I know that it is easy to say what Division 2 is and isn't doing. I know a lot of fans of the franchise are reminiscing about the glory days, and some people are not even happy with the upcoming Skyscraper event, mainly because it's PvE. So, let's assume the developers have a creative block, and they need some help in the game, which is likely true. Well, this video is just some of the ideas that I have created and would implement if I was a developer working on Division 2's PvP. So while it is easy to make requests, I believe it is important to group things into short-term and long-term fixes or long-term goals. But today I will be giving you something free, a snippet of my short-term fix for Division 2's PvP. Currently, the game features many systems and modifiers that could spice things up in PvP. So to start things off, I would create a rotating modifier for PvP, something that changes weekly. These modifiers will range from certain skills being disabled, to all skills being disabled, to specific archetypes of weapons being disabled in PvP where maybe it's just SMG only this week, or marksman next week and rifles the other one, or LMGs the week after, where other weapons will be disabled. You will even have things such as a PvP modifier where only headshots can kill you, kinda like the reanimated event. Players will be chasing each other around, and of course every time you get a headshot kill, you get a token, something that adds up and can be used to purchase other items in the game, so it is a kill counter. For example, this week all deployable skills will be disabled, and maybe next week, chem launcher and shields will be disabled, and the week after that, all skills including grenades will be disabled, and maybe in another week, all weapons will be disabled and you only have skills. All guns except pistols can be disabled in another week, so you will have people just running around using pistols or just sidearms. And that is also another thing that makes this modifier interesting. The modifier will not only affect conflict, but it will also affect the dark zone. Dark zone enemies are already a joke to most players, but these changes will also add a new dynamic to the way you approach landmarks. And when players face off against each other, they have new ways to approach each other instead of the typical foam or spark and run mentality. And of course in the future I will be able to add different badges to it like getting a certain amount of kills in this game mode or this week without getting killed, running solo or killing without being assisted, adding different things to incentivize the engagement in PvP and that is just for a short term. So even if you get killed or even if you kill in PvP, you will still have a lot of benefits from it. Like there could be a badge that says I survived the firestorm. When you finish that week having more kills than death. And of course maybe another badge that says roasted if you finish that week with more deaths than kills. And if you get the roasted badge, you also get a significantly higher XP boost. So those are things that you can use to incentivize and also encourage people to play the game or at least play PvP. Now, this is just a few of the ideas that I have to fix PvP in the short term. I have other ideas as far as short term is concerned and long term is concerned, even in Division 3 whenever they get to it. All those other ideas though, Massive can consult me for in-depth breakdowns and explanation on the long-term changes and those designs. Anyways, let me know what you guys think about this down below in the comment section. PvP modifiers, what do you think about that? Thanks for watching, I'll see you in the next one.